My name is uh, Rupsha Banerjee. I am a social scientist with ILRI, but specifically on this project called Index Based Livestock Insurance. What I do for it is I basically look at institutional innovations around uh, around having efficient sales and distribution models along with coordinating extension work which can sort of help in the informed uptake of index-based livestock insurance. Um, for me, to be very honest, I never really um, uh, I never really believed why gender is so important because even though I come from India and I know there's a huge gender disparity over there, uh, my family is a little bit liberal in that sense because we are mainly girls in our family. Like uh, we are, my parents have, my mother has like five brothers and sisters and of that we have only one male who's, a, who's a, like one male cousin. The rest, all of us are girls and we are supremely educated for like Indian standards. Like all of us on an average at least has a master's and in my generation people are mostly settled abroad. So I never really thought what the, what the big deal was as far as gender and gender equality was concerned. But then when I started working in my career, and mainly it's been in rural development, that's when I realized that actually gender is a very important issue. And um, lots of things related to domestic violence and decision making actually depends on the empowerment or what like the women have to say in a particular uh, scheme of things. Um, on coming over here in, in livestock, this was like a completely new field for me. And, uh, and livestock and gender was also completely new. But then the aha moment actually came when in, in about like after four sales windows, like uh, or sales, uh, sales of Ibli, like we have two periods of sales, uh, statistics started coming in that um, mainly most of the women are actually the buyers. So it was like at that point it was 36%. And right now it is like almost about 45% of women are actually the Ibli buyers. This was quite baffling for, uh, for me personally and even for our team, but for me because we have been um, thought to believe that like uh, livestock decisions are mainly done by the men. And so it was quite curious for us as to see that as to why is this phenomenon happening. Uh, we have some particular theories on it, but as, uh, but as we were getting anecdotal evidence, we also realized that it is just not the women and small ruminants, but they were also engaging in, in bigger livestock, like cattle, camel, and they were actually insuring their livestock on that. Uh, what, we, what we increasingly began to realize is that this can actually have huge implications in the way we are actually even implementing the project, because, which means that we have to probably even think about like better targeting, better messaging, and also even finding out the reasons as to why, uh, women, why women are a significant part of this lot, and therefore even understand the decision-making patterns within a pastoral household, and what are, the, what are the factors that sort of determine that women are actually the ones who are buying. Uh, going forward, this is I have kind of uh, made this my mission that I want to pursue this, and and we have been talking with our gender team over here, and I think I would really want to uh, work on this as one of my key outputs in the in the medium to in, in the near to medium future, and I think it will have like a great influence on even like the policy, and especially given that now Ibli has been adopted by the government and they're also going to be like a partial subsidy attached to it so even it will help them in terms of targeting and also like the overall decision making and the resilience too um, in the pastoral areas.